The key themes to accelerating BI with Kinetica is the, the power of ingest to billions of rows a minute uh, for provisioning large data sets for BI, uh, the compute and query, the power of compute and query to, to query billions of rows in sub-second time, and the ability to bring algorithms and, and user-defined functions to, to the same data set in the same place, uh, the ability to consume with your BI tools through ODBC, JDBC, leveraging SQL 92 compliance. Um, there's also APIs, natural language processing and geospatial capabilities for consumers and the ability to scale as a distributed cluster, optimizing the use of GPU memory, system memory, and disk. Now let's see it in action. So first I'm gonna take you to uh, look at the administrative screen for the, the Kinetica server that we'll be using today. So now as you can see, uh, some quick high points of this. There's 24 billion, over 24 billion rows of data stored in this Kinetica server, and there's about one and a half terabytes of memory, um, pure memory available for query. And if I click on this data tab, we can take a look at some of the tables that are stored here, and we look at the master collection. We can see that there, there was 21 billion rows of data in this collection, uh, one of which is this uh, New York City taxi data set, which we'll be using today, and there's over a billion rows in this data set, and if I click into it, you can, you can take a look at some of the sample data and the, co and the columns that are in use, but the table info will show you that we support you know, many different data types, strings, longs, ints, floats, um, timestamps, uh, chars, um, so it works like just any other uh, database uh, data type. And um, you can also see, we wanted to point out, there's no indexes on this data whatsoever. So this is gonna, we're looking to demonstrate the pure computational power of a GPU with, with query, with doing some BI queries. So now let's jump over to um, Tableau and, and take a look at, at Tableau querying a billion row data set. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, launch first um, the ODBC administrator tool within Windows so you can take a look and see what it looks like, what a, what a connection looks like. Connection definition is very simple. All you need is your username, your password, um, the server IP and the port for the ODBC server. And then if I click on advanced options, you can see here there's a URL that can, that's the port for the server communication for Kinetica itself. So the ODBC uh, uh, connection definition needs to know that. That's all you need. Once you've done that, you just click OK, go ahead and launch Tableau, click on ODBC database connections, and here are the connections we just showed you, so they pop up. We're going to go ahead and connect to production and sign in. Which brings you to the um, uh, data source screen within the Tableau workbook. From here, we're going to go ahead and do the drop down for select database. We're going to pick the master collection that we showed you. And then from here, you can start importing your table metadata. Um, for today, we're going to keep it nice and simple, and we're just going to work with this New York City taxi data set. And now you're ready to query a billion row data set. So I'm going to click on the sheet. So first, let's use the built-in Tableau function for, sh for uh, showcasing the total number of records that we're working with, just to verify. So from here, you can see that we are working with over a billion uh, rows of data. Now let's do a quick slice and dice of that data. So right away, you can see we're able to slice and dice a billion row data set but the cool part about Tableau is its ability to work through visualization. So let's do the exact same query, but let's work through visualization and take advantage of uh, Tableau's um, uh, power there. So I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same query, but I'm going to do it visually. So let's drag in the number of records to the shelf. You can see again it aggregated a billion rows in sub-second time. Let's just bring in time and see what we're dealing with. So visually now we can see that there are some outliers here. So let's zoom in on this, uh, on this chunkier data set so we can improve our analysis. Now let's go ahead and, and slice this up by vendor. And let's bring in the data points as labels so we can see what we're dealing with. 
And again, now I was able to visually get to the same analysis, although this is a little bit more compelling. But what would even be more interesting is if we could drill down and get more detail. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's go all the way down. So uh, tab uh, we're, Tableau is aggregating to any level of time series that you want. But let's go ahead and drill all the way down to day and see what we get. So we're going to go down to day on this data set. And it returns in sub-second time, and we get, we get our results. I mean, this is, this is, as a BI, uh, been in the industry for a while, this is a very powerful thing to see a billion rows return in sub-second time. And now, as a, if I'm an analyst or a business user, now what I want to do is start playing around with different visualizations to get better insights. So let's go ahead and see how that works. So I might want to see this here, and then I can go maybe to a stack bar and notice that we're, we're bringing in all of the data points for visual analysis. Um, let's go to this bubble chart. Okay. So what's interesting here is that this is almost 5,000 data points rendering in sub-second time, aggregating up to this, this day level in a visualization, which is extremely powerful. So now Let's go ahead and open up um, a sample Tableau dashboard where we can demonstrate multiple charts, uh, aggregating it once across the page with different time series and, and calculations. So quickly note, it's the same billion row data set that we've been working with minus the outliers. So we're still over a billion rows. And uh, note that, that we got four charts on this, on this page, on this dashboard. Um, each of the charts uh, are aggregating across different time series, uh, year and month. And uh, a couple of the charts are calculating uh, growth year over year and month over month on the fly in sub-second time. And again, just a reminder that I sh we showed you there are no indexes on this data set. It's just brute force compute using GPUs. It's also important to note that we're running this uh, Tableau dashboard remotely on a Windows machine through a VPN out over the internet to the Kinetica server and getting this kind of performance. So now, um, as an analyst, I might want to start iterating on this data, and we can interact selecting different attributes, which will pass the queries interactively uh, between uh, Tableau and Kinetica database, filtering on the fly, and results can be returned quickly, which will delight users. So I'm going to go ahead and select a range of years. And now I'm going to go ahead and select maybe a set of months. Again, note we went from a billion rows down to 181 million in sub-second time, aggregating across these four different perspectives on the fly. Now I'm going to go ahead and click these checkbox filters on the right and iterate on payment types. So I'm going to clear the data set completely and click one payment type. Let's go ahead and look at another one. Again, I'm, I'm freely iterating and going from a billion to half going from a billion to half a billion in sub-second time. And let's zoom in on one of these charts. So from here, let's go ahead and drill down across multiple time series. So let's go from month to day. And now let's go from day to hour. So you can see from here, we can start to explore more detailed patterns that only come from using much broader, deeper sets of data, which open up new opportunities for Tableau users to gain even more powerful insights faster than ever before by combining the brute force computation power of Kinetica database and GPUs. And lastly from here, notice there are some uh, built-in analytical functions here within Tableau. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and drag in one and apply it across this entire data set. So we're taking a few seconds to compute the layout, but Kinetic has already served up the data. And as you can see, now we're highlighting these median average ranges. 
So this concludes my demo. Um, I hope this was helpful in uh, demonstrating how easy it is to connect and accelerate business intelligence from BI with Connecticut.